Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Become immune to poison. Don't take anything personally. The whole world can gossip about you, and if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. <laughs> Excuse me. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 161, NASDAQ off 166, SPs down 26. Gold, gold contract up $2.30, traded at 2037 an ounce. You get silver down 17 cents, $22.96 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 92 cents, $77.96 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note. Down nine ticks, trading 109.21. The 30 year off 18 at 117.29. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 73 ticks, 104.006. Euros at 108. Yen's out here at 150. British pounds at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, in the world of the markets, man, this is a trip, okay? So, yesterday, what we had had, let's take a look at the S&P first. Okay, so, what we had out here yesterday is, even on the SPY, the SPY did uh, 71 million shares going into 113 million, okay? We're at 33 million today, folks, okay? This is saying that we're going to get a bounce here, man. So, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. This is telling me, you know... Uh, I, I, I was, <laughs> this is going to get interesting, it's because this is all happening as we're speaking right now, in the camp that the NASDAQ wants to come down to this high volume low, the second high volume low, not the one it's going into right now. Yeah, let me go to the queues for a second, because there's something happening here that is pretty intense. And what it is, the contraction inside the queues is just huge, man. You know, yesterday we did... 52 million. We're at 35. The Q's broke a swing with 64 at, the, at 64, but only did 53. The higher, lower one is 64. So we'll wait the hour out just to see whether this thing does explode, you know, up to the 50s, but I don't think it's going to happen, man. 35 million, and if, let's go over to the NDX. So if we go over to the NDX and take a look at it right off the bat, what you're going to see, Palo Alto is the loser out here today, down 28%. Z-Scale is down 14%. CrowdStrike's down 10 You got Exelon up 3 Kraft Heinz is up 1 Now let's go to Palo Alto. If, if you want to see... Price and volume, folks. Palo Alto does it. This is about as intense as it gets. You know, it, it's down $104. But if you want to see the last day with volume, check it out, man. I mean, it's almost hard to believe. Yeah, one second. Let me put this. Let's put this on. Oh, no, I gotta, I'll keep it on a daily. One second. Okay. What you're going to see here is that this equity, let me put it, six months, I'll put it on a six month, so you can see how clear this is. This equity kept going, here it is right here. That's one volume, um, what did I do? I put this on a weekly, I think. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, it was on a weekly, I put it. So, on a weekly, what you're going to see is this. This baby came right down to the last time. It's actually going to go a little bit lower. It's going to go to 247. It hit 260 so far. But what you're going to see is that there it is, 264. That from 264 on, and it went all the way up to 380, 
it had no volume. Now, what happens with equities in general, right, is that you never know when they're going to come back to the last day with volume. But I can tell you, man, they do it on, on a continual basis. I mean, you're talking in the 90s, percentile mark. Not, not 60, not 70. And <laughs> this one did it in a day. Now, you, because you're coming down so hard, my take is we'll go to the next level, which is a 247. Now, that being said, now watch this, because now that's down hard and fast, right? But there's something inside the NDX 100 that is saying it's not going to get smoked. So now let's go over to the NVIDIA, because the bottom line is that there's an 11, right now in the option market, there's 11% uh, implied move. So that's about $70, okay, either way. Now, it came off the high. Yesterday, you had volume off the high, slowing down today. My take is this is going to go a little bit lower, but only a little bit lower. Oh, excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. Um, you know, you have, we'll see how it holds. I, I think 634, I think, is going to be game here. That's where it broke out from. Let me put this on a week just for a second. Yeah, I don't see any big disruption. And I, now what I'm doing here, I'm definitely, I'm looking at this, because you can see the volume at the highs is not bad. You had two weeks of not bad volume at the highs. But right there, yeah, this is the number. Yeah, this is the number right here. What number is this? Okay. Well, that's, that's down a bit. Hold on. That's five, well, no, that's 583. That's 583. Yeah, that's how this seems to be set up. We'll see. But I don't think it's going to, well, we'll see how this shakes out. But if that's down to 583, something else is going to be up quite a bit. Because the amount of volume inside of the queues is saying it wants to bounce. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow down 176, NASDAQ off 162, S&P's down 26. We're coming right back.